Are you trying to decide whether or not you would like to work in an early childhood education setting, such as in a preschool? What are some reasons why you might want to choose to work or not work in a preschool? Welcome, I'm Maria George, and in this video, I want to share four honest pros and four honest cons of working in the preschool setting from my personal experience. So, I taught preschool and early grades up to first grade for about six years. Currently, I'm a child development professor, but I really enjoyed my time working with young children. So, if you're thinking about becoming a preschool teacher, you're in for a treat. You'll get to be a part of these little ones' growth, learning, and development during their most formative years. So, from my experience, what are some good, bad, and ugly sides of working in this field? Let's start with the good. One of the best things about this job is that you get to inspire a love of learning in these little ones. You'll be a part of their first experiences in education, and that's pretty cool. Young children come in eager and curious about the world, and I loved watching their sense of wonder. There was one time when my class was really curious about the ants that were invading our classroom, so I turned that negative event into a fun and engaging lesson about ants. We sang when the ants go marching in and made paper ants, and I read books about these insects. Another plus is that you get to form strong bonds with the kids and their families. You'll get to know them well, and that makes the job even more fun. I still remember some of my young students, and for a few years after they left the preschool, I would have some return and visit, and I love seeing the children as they grew up. The families remained grateful for many years, and their appreciation was heartwarming. A third pro of working with young children is that I got to exercise my creativity to plan activities and lessons to help the children not only learn, but to have fun. And I was also able to have fun with them. So if you have creative ideas about lessons and activities to teach and motivate children, being an early childhood educator allows you to develop and apply those skills. And fourth, I had fun with the children. What other job can you spend a lot of time playing? Children learn through play, and every day I would create experiences and settings where they could pretend to be veterinarians or chefs or salespersons, and I could pretend with them. And I loved hearing their ideas and thoughts as we played. I still remember playing in the kitchen area with my young students where they were making me lunch in their pizza parlor. And after they served me their version of pizza, I asked, how much does a slice of pizza cost? And one of the children said, a hundred dollars. And this was way before our current inflation rates. I just hope he wasn't predicting the future. But just like any job, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And here are some cons that I experienced. One of the biggest downsides is the workload, especially when you are new. I remember when I started in my first classroom as lead teacher and I had to learn how to balance multiple tasks and responsibilities such as lesson planning, prepping, communication with families, and admin work. This is all in addition to being in the classroom to teach your young students. So my work didn't end when the kids went home. I had much to do before they came into class and after they left. Another downside is the emotional toll of the job. Sometimes you'll work with children who have special needs or who have been through tough times, and that can be draining. Again, especially when you're new to the field. It can be challenging to work with a classroom of children with a different needs and to find yourself focusing on students who require special attention and care. It can be quite rewarding, but it can also cause you to feel stretched and overwhelmed. I remember my students who demanded my attention and the needs would range. I worked in a diverse classroom and I would have children who just immigrated from different countries, so their first language was not English. So I had to be patient and get creative with my communication while they learned the language and a culture of their now new home. I also had students who went through different types of trauma and I learned to be sensitive. But it is difficult to divide your attention between the students who seem to be doing okay 
and the ones who are demanding your attention. So while working with the different needs of students was often stressful, I have to admit that meeting each of these students taught me skills in being patient, accepting, and resilient. A third con of working in early childhood education is limited resources. I mostly worked in private schools and most of them had limited funding, so the resources that I was given in my classroom were few. I was given an extremely small budget each year to buy supplies, but it was definitely not enough to buy what I needed, so I ended up spending some of my own money. There are creative ways to stretch resources and many families were willing to contribute. And the fourth con and the ugliest side of working in this field, and one main reason why I left, is the pay. For the amount of work I put into being a preschool teacher, I felt that the compensation was low, no matter what school I taught at, and I taught at a few schools. It's sad that those of us who are educating and caring for those who will be the future are paid yesterday's wages. I joked that I got tipped with hugs and precious smiles from the children, which was fulfilling in itself, but in reality, you really do have to love what you're doing in order to work in early childhood education. If you have other sources of income and don't need to rely on your own income to survive, then being a preschool teacher would be okay. Otherwise, it's challenging to live on your own on only a preschool teacher's salary. Now, there may be places and employers who have better compensation for their teachers, but I didn't experience that. And there may be other positions you can have with an early childhood education degree that pay better. Please comment below if you have any suggestions regarding this issue because we do need good people to work in this field to care for our children. Anyway, even with the downsides, working in a preschool can be incredibly rewarding. If you're passionate about helping young children learn and grow, it's totally worth it. What do you think? For those of you in the field, share what you love about your work. And for those who are thinking about working in the early childhood education, what questions do you have? Comment below. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel where I post about once a month. Watch this video next about child development and see you there.